Describe dating black in the UK right now with one word. So ghetto. The ghetto. Wow. Hard. Hard. <laughs> I was just say interesting. I'm gonna say tiring to start with. It's a Russian roulette kind of thing. Yeah. Like you just never know where linking with one person is gonna lead you in your life. Yeah. And six months down the line, you're stressed. You've put on two stone, and you're not quite sure where the last six months of your life has gone. And it will just end like that. Like I'm, and then like, you're back on this ride again and doing it with somebody else. Pilgrimage. And I say that because um, it's like a journey. You don't know where you're going to end up half the time. You're just going and trying and going <laughs> sometimes. It's not easy. Chaotic. Oh, that's a good word. Chaotic. We say that all the time. Imbalanced. Just sorry, it doesn't feel like anyone knows what they're doing. Mm. I feel like people think they know what they're doing, but we mm. don't really know. I feel like it's just complicated. I think, I don't know why there's this gap between like dating exclusively and boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like people are really scared of this boyfriend and girlfriend word, mm. but then dating exclusively is kind of like boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's like just complicated. I think it's so complicated, yeah, because it's like, um, there's just bare rules that you don't know are rules. Then on top of that, you got the whole like black love existential crisis. Right. So, so any black couple that's together, it's for everyone's you to like break every generational curse. It's listen, you. there and then, you are the black love that's gonna do it. You're gonna fix everything. Exactly. Are you gonna fix us, Brazil? Who me? Yeah. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> it's so love. It's so love. It's so love. It's so love.